So welcome to this presentation of Router Systems Designer 9. Today I want to show you the exciting enhancements in RSD9. One of the first enhancements I want to show you is draft groups. A draft group is basically a standard assembly. So instead of having to place down two connectors in a cable, which requires several clicks, you can now place those down with a single click. To do that, you go to the Catalog Explorer, select your draft group. In this instance, I have a lamp, which is the lamp module, the connectors, and obviously the three wires. When I place the lamp down, it's as if I place them down individually. So what this means is, if I select this connector here, for example, I can modify it in any way. So for example, I can change the number of pins, I can even mirror them. And very quickly, you can manipulate the design any way you see fit. We've also got inline connectors. Now inline connectors are basically your jack and your plug uh, put together to, for breaking in your harnesses. So to it, place them down very quickly, so what I'm going to do very quickly is just instance some fibers by selecting these ports, place them down the fibers very quickly, and then again going to my inline connectors. You can see that the two connectors are on my cursor, and if I just want three pins, I just select three, and you can see that the connector updates automatically. By turning left, I can very quickly inline the connectors. Now once you've completed with your design, you obviously want to share your design with other people within the enterprise or other external people. So for example, if you've got a technical engineer in the field and he requires information about the, P about the schematic, then maybe you want to send him a PDF. So to do that, you quite simply export a PDF and you, within the PDF, you can control certain features and functions. So for example, if you want to open the design, you can require a password. If you want to restrict printing, you can set a password. Standard PDF functionality. You can also control which sheets you want to export. So for example, if someone wants just a certain sheet, maybe the sheet they're working on, you can select it, give it a name, and export it. So as the design evolves, you're probably going to get some information from your cabling electromechanical engineers to tell you about the wire lengths. Once you get those wire lengths, you can then go back to Radar Systems Designer and start to use simulation tools which are new in RSD9. Essentially what you can do is you can take a look at your design. You can see that uh, we have a battery here which is uh, highlighted just down here, B1, and we've got a voltage of 12 volts. If we go to our components, we can also see that we have a resistance through this printed circuit board of 0.65. If we go to simulation and actually simulate that circuit, we let RSD simulate go away and analyze the design. And straight away it tells us that we have a warning. We can have a look at the results and here we can see that we have 12.8 uh, amps going through here but our cable or our wire can only take 3.5 amps. So we need to make some changes. So to do that all I'm going to do is select these two wires here, go to my properties and I'm just going to apply some new information. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my maximum current to be let's say 16. Once I've applied that new information, you can see that my properties update. And then when we go back to the simulation, rerun the simulation, you can now see that our simulation is successful. And if you look at the results, you can see that we're well within our requirements. That concludes today's presentation. If you require any more information about RSD9, please visit ptc.com.